guys, Strogdar here again, and welcome to another Redstone tutorial. Today I have for you a very simple slime block elevator. Uh, I want to get the simple designs out of the way before we start doing the more advanced tutorials. So I started with a very compact, simple slime block elevator. It is very good for getting you from one level to another. Uh, you can try to use it for multiple levels. Um, like if you can put floors like right here and try to time you getting off. It's kind of hard but once you get used to it it's not too bad. But if you're going from one level to another constantly like from your base all the way down to uh, like a branch mine or something this is uh, perfect for your needs so all you need to do is get in here uh, and just press the button and I suggest you to press your uh, back button so you're pressing up against the wall that way you'll dismount as soon as you get to the top um, and as you can see that was not too long and we're pretty high up. I could have continued up to the world limit, but I don't know. I think you get the picture. And the way you get down is you just jump down and you'll land on the slime block. And if you don't know how to not bounce on slime blocks, just crouch. So what I did was just crouched as I was falling and you'll just land right on it and you don't take damage. So let's get on with the tutorial then guys. Okay guys, the items that you will need are all on the hot bar and I'll just run through them quick. You're gonna need your blocks of choice, which I'm using quartz blocks. Uh, when I say blocks of choice, I mean you can use whatever for the circuits and uh, the face up here, except for these obsidian blocks there. You're going to need half slabs of any type. You're going to need uh, obsidian, as that's uh, the only immovable block in Pocket Edition, as far as I know. Uh, you're going to need redstone dust, you're going to need redstone torches, you're going to need a button, you're going to need some repeaters, you're going to need some sticky pistons, and you're going to need some slime blocks. Now this design is modular from this point up. So what that means is after you do this section right here, the section above it is the same as the one just below it. And you'll see what I mean. Basically it just, the way you build it repeats in a pattern. So I cleared out a little space right here. It's a uh, three by four by three deep. And I'm going to go ahead and start building. So what you're going to do is place a block there. It's temporary. And then you're going to place a sticky piston on top of it. You can go ahead and get rid of that. And then you're going to place a slime block there. That's the very first one that will set you off. Um, when you're placing slime blocks, you're going to want to make sure everything that the slime block touches is obsidian. So that means these blocks here, and then that block there. And then since we go up on three walls, and this pops up one, we're going to have to go ahead and put obsidian there. Uh, these can be whatever you want. You could build the whole thing out of obsidian if you want, but I'm just putting obsidian in the necessary spots. Next, you're going to go ahead and place your button on the this obsidian right there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and build up one, two, three. 
four. No. Only go to build up three. This is where your next sticky piston will be. If I can place it right. So from this obsidian right here, you go up three and then you place your next sticky piston. That's how you'll know where you'll place those. Then you're going to place a slime block on top of that. On the sides here you can place uh, whatever block you want. These have to be obsidian and then these have to be obsidian. Now we'll do a little bit of the redstone to show you how to hook up the first one. Um, actually no. We'll go ahead and continue on building this. This is how I built that basically. I get all the pistons set up first. So from that we go one, two, three, sticky piston, slime block, and then I go obsidian, and then one, two, three of your your uh, blocks of choice. Sticky piston, slime block. That's as high as I'm going to wire it up for this tutorial. You'll get why here in a second. It's basically, if you know one part of this, you know the entire thing. So you can go ahead and build up the walls. Go ahead and put obsidian here. Blocks of choice. Obsidian here. And then We'll extend that in a minute. Now we're going to do the redstone. So our button is on this block here. So we're going to take a full block, place it there, place redstone on it, and then you're going to place a repeater right there, going out this way. Um, yeah, towards the back. Place redstone dust right there. A full block right there. Redstone dust on that block. Then you're going to place half slab here. Then you're going to place a half slab here. And then you're going to place redstone dust on both of those. And you're going to place a block right there with a redstone torch on it with a block on top of that redstone torch with a torch on top of that block block on top of that torch a block right there block right there and a block right there next we're going to have to put a sticky piston on this slime block facing that way then we're going to place a repeater right there then a repeater right there this one on four ticks delay and then a redstone dust right there then we're going to place obsidian blocks there and there basically you're going to repeat this pattern there's going to be a slight difference right here so I'll show you that right here uh, the way you hook it up from here to there is you're going to place a torch on top of that obsidian, a block on top of that torch, a torch on that block, torch on, or a block on top of that torch, place a block there, and you're going to place a torch right there, and a torch right there, and then a block on top of that torch and this is going to be the same as down there now so a block there and a block right there then you're going to put your repeater right here well yeah repeater right there repeater right there on four ticks can't forget to put your sticky piston here like that place your dust there, place your obsidian blocks there. Now run through it one more time. 
basically you're just going to repeat this part torch there black right there torch on that black black on that torch torch on that black black on that torch another torch on that black another black going there and then you're going to place a black here black here obsidian here and here a sticky piston facing that way right there repeater right there going on four ticks repeater right there on default delay and then a redstone dust right there and then to top it off since this will send you six blocks high good count the obsidian black you go go one two three four five six and that will be the very top of your elevator so you go ahead and do this this and then you can just build that up like that and that like that and that should be the thing done so if I come in here and press the button remembering to press back on the the uh, directional pad it'll send me right up and then I fall down pressing sneak and I land on the slime block so there you go guys a very simple slime block elevator uh, if you enjoyed the tutorial please leave a like and subscribe it helps out my channel as this is the end of the tutorial I will see you guys next time have a nice day bye bye